Good afternoon, I'm Febin Castoon from 7 News, and we're taking you through the 716 in just two minutes. Buffalo police are looking for leads in connection with a double shooting. Officers say the two men were shot during a party on Hewitt Avenue just before midnight. One of the victims, an 18-year-old man from Buffalo, is in critical condition at ECMC. The other victim is 19 years old from Cheektowaga. Police are still looking for a suspect. And there will be an electric atmosphere in Buffalo's Chippewa District district for next week's primetime showdown to kick off the regular season. Fans will once again pack the street for a giant Bills block party. The street will be closed between Delaware Avenue and Franklin Street. The Thursday night game against the Rams will be shown on big screen TVs and there will also be beer, food and live entertainment. Turning things now to meteorologist Mary Beth Robel. Happy Tuesday to you, Febin. Well, we have a rainy day Tuesday on tap. We'll have periods of rain and a few thunderstorms. Temperatures held down into the 70s, but it will be a humid day. So for today, we're looking for high temperatures to go into the mid 70s with periods of showers and some thunderstorms could be heavy, especially east of Buffalo. And then for tonight, the rain will start to wind down. It will start to turn less humid overnight. Better sleeping weather with overnight lows close to 60 degrees. And it's a great looking Wednesday. Plenty of sunshine, breezy and pleasant. We'll see highs in the mid 70s. Here is the super seven day forecast. It's going to feel a little like fall as we get into Thursday. Check out that high temperature around 70 degrees. But then we crank up back into the 80s for the start of the holiday weekend. Great looking conditions for the barbecues, for the pools, for the beaches. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, maybe a late day shower. But the Labor Day holiday itself looks wonderful with partly sunny skies and highs in the mid 70s.